Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to do object detection using YOLO version 5. YOLO stands for You only look once, which is a popular algorithm for object detection, which is highly accurate and fast in operation. Here's a sample of what we can achieve by following this article. The first step is to prepare the dataset and label it using Roboflow. In this example, we will detect beautiful marine life by defining the classes as follows. Class 1 sea turtle, class 2 stingray and class 3 is lionfish. The data preparation process is simple. Just search on Google and store all the files in a single folder. You can name the files anything you want. Let's start quickly. We will use about 10 images per class. The more images, the better. In one image, multiple objects of different classes can be detected. We'll use the Roboflow tool to label the images. We will go to the website. Sign in, create a new project by specifying the project name and the example class names we want to detect. Then, we will upload all the images we will use either one by one or all in one folder. Confirming the upload. We will press the Assign Images button. If we have a lot of images to label, can work as a team by entering our friends' names to help. Once done, press the Assign Images button. And then we will label each image by selecting the objects in the image and specifying the class name. After labeling, we will export the labels in the required format. Later, add images to the dataset using the command add images to dataset. Then divide the number of images to be used for training the model and validation model evaluation. Create the dataset using the command generate new version in Roboflow. There are tools for managing images before training. With preprocessing, we adjust images such as increasing brightness, Resizing images and augmentation is the process of increasing the diversity of images. For example, from the prepared dataset, each class has 10 images. We can increase the number by creating new images, such as reversed images, or brighter or darker image, and will help increase the model's intelligence. In the case of testing with real-life images and images that have never been encountered before, Proceed by exporting the dataset for training. Select YOLO v5 PyTor and choose Show. Download code. This will be a link to the dataset that should be copied for use in training on Google. Collaboratory. That's it for first episode. Now we have the ready to train dataset. Let's continue. We'll take the dataset prepared from Roboflow and train it on Google Colab. First, select New Notebook and give it a proper name. Before running any code, set up the GPU usage by going to the Runtime menu and selecting Change Runtime Type. Then choose GPU as the hardware accelerator. Look at the code in this notebook. Next, we'll call the PyTorch library and check GPU usage. Let's test to see if our system has successfully installed YOLO. Upload an image to Google Colab and try to detect it. We may be worried that we haven't trained anything yet. What can we do in this situation? YOLO has been pre-trained to recognize common objects. About 80 classes in total. Is it possible that YOLO can detect and count objects? As seen from the sample image, it is yes. If the objects we want to detect are within the 80 classes that have been trained. However, for our Under the Sea project, we searched but still kill cat. We have to train it ourselves. 
Do we have the URL that we exported from label creation in Roboflow? It again from Roboflow not when running this code. We need to set the relationship between the two files with our model. Here we have three classes. The first file we need to modify is the yaml 5 slash model slash yaml 5 yaml file by double clicking to open. The yaml 5 yaml file and editing line 4. Where the number of classes should be equal to 3, if we have a different number of classes, adjust accordingly and save the file by going to File Save or Wait for 2 seconds for the file to save automatically and then close it. The second file we need to modify is slash content slash all 5 slash data dot yaml. We will set the location of the train and valid files. The rest of lines 4 and 5 should already be set according to the class we made from Roboflow. If someone's is not set, feel free to modify it. Next, we will use WendyB as a tool to monitor and check our work and training results, so we can analyze the performance of the model. In this step, we need to click on the link to authenticate and bring the API key and paste it behind, then press enter. If you haven't registered with WendyB yet, Please sign up first and you will get a key like this. That's it done before training the model. Let's set the training parameters. The following are the parameters. Which is the number of rounds of training, starting at 300 epochs. If overfitting is found, reduce the number of epochs. But if not overfitting and you want more accuracy, try increasing it to 600, 1200 epochs. Increase the image size setting. If our work has large objects in the image, we may set it to 416, but if the objects in the image are small and numerous, we may increase the size to 640 or 12 AE. Batch size is the number of images to be sent in for training in each round. The larger the value, the faster the training, but there is a limitation in memory. Images are large. It may fill up memory and prevent training. Typically, it is set to 8, 16, 32, 64. While training, we can monitor progress by clicking this link. And after a few runs, we will see that the MAPI starts to change, indicating that our model is starting to learn and detect objects in the image. We will also see the changes in real time using WendyB, which is really cool. After 300 rounds of training, Looking at the MAPI graph at 0.5, we find that our model has the highest accuracy in object detection. Training results will be stored in a folder. We'll be informed at the beginning of the training. In this example, it is stored in run slash train slash exp. If there are multiple trainings, the folder names may change. For example, run slash train slash exp1, run slash train slash exp2. The model that has been trained is called weights, and the best weights will be stored in a file named best.pt. The best.pt file and keep it for use. For example, Pi, Jitsu Nano, or as an APR web application. It's time for us to test our model. Try uploading images to Google Colab. For example, try uploading these three pictures. The test command is similar to the first time we tested before training, but this time we have two. Specify new weights obtained from our training, and also specify the image size as we specified during training. We can also set the conf, which is the minimum confidence level for detection dot training of. The YOLO object detection model is complete. It can be applied to many projects. This video ends here. See you again. Goodbye.